His name is Mohammed. Music's the logo, right? <laughs> yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. What happened to Young Mo? Uh, young Mo's past tense, man. That was a bit, that was a bit, was a, I think I was a kid there. Yeah. So I think I grew up, you know, Mologo was the right guy. Uh-huh. And he's the, not was the right, he's the right guy. So He's the right guy. Yeah. I hear that. So what's the difference between the music that you made as Young Mo and the music that you're making now as Mologo? When I was Young Mo, it was more of a hobby thing. It wasn't really professional or mm-hmm. like strategized. So I feel like being Mologo is it's teamwork around it and putting on good music. Yeah. Like proper music for everyone to listen to. Before it was just for myself. Yeah. Like listen to myself or friends and that. But being Mologo, the music is for like it's like a wider range of people. So yeah. Do you class yourself now fully as an Afrobeat artist or are you just an artist? I'm just I'm never I'm I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I, I don't wanna put myself in that box like Afrobeat artist, like but obviously that that is the category that they have to put me into. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I got I just make good music. Yeah. In general. So I my agree, music man. can be Definitely. reached out to anyone. So yeah. When you were growing up, what music were you listening to? Um, when I was growing up, I was listening to likes of Fela Kuti, King Sonia Day, um, a lot of Fuji music, and R&B music. I had the likes of Neo, Chris Brown, okay, Michael Jackson, Trey songs and that. So you say they're your inspirations, mainly? Yeah, definitely. Because now you like to imitate them sometimes, right? Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> what about Michael Jackson? Yeah, I, everyone listens to Michael Jackson, man. You have to listen to MJ, man. Of course. But and I love the ad lib as well. Trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> but I felt like, you see, with those guys, it's like they can only inspire you to be better. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously you can't be like them, but you can just try to find your own self. So, yeah. So he's born in Lagos. Yep, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. And what, when, how old were you when you moved to the UK? I was 10 years old. 10? Yeah. So were you, um, as a youngster, were you like singing in school or did you go to church <laughs> and in the choir or anything like that out there? Like in school, it was more like trying to fit in. Right. China, because obviously you was new in the country and you're trying to fit in with everyone around you. So it was more trying to get myself around the people first before trying to find what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So around that time, you know, like school lessons, like music lessons, you're singing a song together, that choir kind of thing. So... That's where it started from, didn't you? Yeah, how about back in Nigeria? Was singing a big, or music in general, was it a big part of your life back then? Music was essential. Everything mm-hmm. you do, music. Naming ceremony, music. Wedding, music. Even at home, it's in music. So, <coughs> yeah. so it's, it's a part of a culture. So it's, you can't do without music, definitely. So let's talk about UK Afrobeats. Yeah. Now, from where I see it, the UK really has like, it's got a massive influence on the whole <laughs> Afrobeat scene. Definitely. I mean, obviously, the, the African Afrobeat scene as well as the UK one. So would you think, like, is it right to call it a UK Afrobeat? So do you just think it's all kind of one genre? Is the UK really that separate to the scene? Um, I just feel like it's just music in general. Like, if you put UK, then that means you're making it feel like we're just making music for the UK people. Well, we make music for everyone in general. Yeah. Like, someone in India can be listening to my song and they don't even know me. So, because music right now is, you know, is in the net. So, it goes everywhere, travels everywhere. So, you have to put it in a category and that's the main thing. But it's up to you how you come out and branch out. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that, man. Between all the artists in the UK, so people like Fuse, yourself, Mr. Silva, um, from where I'm standing, it looks like there's a lot of unity within the UK artists. Is it like that in, like, I mean, are you guys all friends or is it kind of a bit competitive or what? How is it? <laughs> Friends, yeah, everyone's cool. We're friends, and but I feel like it's it is competition. Yeah, because some people feel like you know oh, I don't want to work with that person because of their reasons, whatever. Mm-hmm. But you know so the, bad, the it, politics are still there. Then I don't, I don't think politics. I just feel like I don't know, man. It's more insecurity. Right. Yeah, but the baddest is our nations, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the ba- <laughs> <laughs> we're coming. We're yeah, coming to that. that. Don't worry. We're getting there. We're getting so there. It's out. It's out. The baddest is out there. Featuring um, gigs. Featuring gigs. Yeah. You've got um, a lot of support and obviously a fan base out in Africa as well. I know. I was shocked, you know. Yeah. That, Why were you so shocked? Because I haven't been there for a while. And mm. when I went there, it was 2010. I just went there for like with family just to see my peoples and that. I wasn't really for a music course. And now that I got a lot of feedback, that they actually listened to me over there. Like, so it's amazing. 
Mm. And that's what I mean by Africans and a lot of the people out there listening to the UK scene. Yeah. But it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So how important is social media to you reaching your fans abroad? It is very important because everyone's on social. Everyone's, everyone's on the internet. The, mm. the BBs, the iPhones, the Twitter, Snapchats, everything. So it's, it's a way that you can actually publicize your music. You know, so you don't have to wait to do a show for people to hear about you. So it's a good thing. Yeah, most definitely, man. Um, people, a lot of people that you've collaborated with, obviously we mentioned Fuse, yeah. uh, Mr. Silva, Styler G, May mm -hmm. 7, Gigs, the baddest is on iTunes right now. <laughs> um, who else have you got collaborations lined up with? Um, I got some. How tell me, got... tell me, tell me. I know I hate it when people I got, do I got three <laughs> major ones, but I can't really... Disclose that yet? But right, it's coming out real soon. Is the song's recorded? Yeah, they're done already. So they're done. Yeah. Right, but you're not telling me who the artists are. Can't, can't. Right. You have to I would tell love me, to. I, you have to I don't mind. One of them. Let's just say one of them is a major, like major, major artist and English uh, artist. I'll um, be, be telling. I'll be telling. I can't tell you that. <laughs> but it's it's gonna be a like it's gonna be definitely different and right. it's gonna push out more. You know. Expanding the boundaries, yeah. right? So you're gonna surprise a lot of people with this. After the so what's, well, tell me about the sound of the record then. Is this and we're talking about the next single, are we? With no, with the next single, we're working on that. Right. And that's we've got some few sounds already that, but we're not really sure yet. So we're trying to just get the best out of it and mm -hmm. before we push out the next single. Okay, okay. Before we talk about obviously the baddest and and the forthcoming projects and stuff. You're, you're an independent artist. You're not yeah. signed right now, are you? Not signed at all. Is that something, is this how you want to keep it? Or are you looking to get Right something? now, the way things are going, it's good to be independent because then you get to choose what you do and you, you structure yourself. Because you when money. you get signed to um, the majors, they tend to like try to change your music. Mm -hmm. Not that they're doing it to make you feel bad. It's just that they don't really know what you're doing. Yeah, of course. So they need someone that's inside there that knows how your world works so mm -hmm. that they can work together and just meet up in the middle of the ground. I hear that, man. I hear that. And of course, make more money being independent. I know. You, you, you do. You do. That money. You do. <laughs> All the gig <laughs> nah, money. No, but to be honest, I feel like if a major comes along, it's, good, it's a good thing because if if you don't make no money, they don't make no money. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to say, oh, you don't want other people to make money off you, then it doesn't really make sense. Yeah. Because... If you if they don't push you for you to make money, then they don't get no percentages. So of course, well, I mean, but the yeah. way you benefit from being signed, of course, is they they're an investor. Definitely, and they've and got more. I feel like the the mechanical side. Yeah. Because they they're out there already, so that allows you to be pushed a lot more. They have the network built yeah. already. But you can do that independently as well. So. Mm. What's the goal or like the end game for you? Where do you see yourself like in the next few years, or where do you want to end up? Um, with me, I feel like the sky's the limit, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say I, I, I want to be in that place or that place in a particular time and that's it. With me, I just want to keep growing and just don't stop. Just keep growing and just keep doing things that I'll be scared of myself. Like, wow, I've done that. Yeah. So, yeah. Is there any artist that you look at and you think, I want to get to where they are right now? Is there anyone in particular? Chris Brown. Chris yeah, Brown. Yeah. That's, Chris, that's a good goal, Chris man. Chris is I mean, like, I don't know, man. Chris is the... For me, the mm. ultimate guy. Right. You know, it everything is there. Like the personality, the the music and the fan base. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay, okay. that's 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 good man, that's good. Let's talk about the baddest. <laughs> the it's baddest. On iTunes right now. Make sure you pre order that. Make sure, make sure out there. Support, support. Most definitely. Produced by Bios Music, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. So you two you've been knocking around together for a while, right? Yeah. So how did you two first meet? Um, I stopped him. I stopped him in Peku. I was walking and I saw him. Right. I knew him, but we didn't. So speak. you knew who he was as yeah, a producer. Yeah, definitely. And then a couple of times, then I stopped him and I was like, "Yo, I need to talk to you." Yeah. Like literally, I said, "Yo, I need to talk to you." He said, "About what?" He said, "Obviously, you're a producer, right?" He said, "Yeah, I like your sound, but I'm an artist, and I feel like she give me a chance. I feel like I got what it takes." Yeah. He said, "I don't know, man." I don't know, I'm busy and this way I'm serious. Like I actually stopped him from going. I'm like, yo, bro, <laughs> I need I need you to put me on. Yeah. And then he said, uh, I right, get my number, we'll talk about it. Then my manager at that time, which is AGP, and then he gave me a little task. I said, Go make this music and bring it back to us. If it's good, then we'll take you on. Mm -hmm. So I done that and then since then it's been history. 
good stuff, man. That's the, that's a pretty decent story because that, that yeah. kind of stuff doesn't really happen too often. I just had to go get it, man. Like, yeah. I, need, I needed a team and I felt like they were the right people. And by getting the music to him, that's how you yeah. convinced him, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's wicked, man. Uh, what about getting gigs on the record? Because it's getting the remix, on... of course. You had the original out there without yeah. gigs mm -hmm. and then gigs was on the record as the remix. Yeah. So how did he hear about that? Did you approach him or did you nah, use the connection I, through bios? I didn't. It was through bio and my, and my manager, AGP, because they knew him personally and they worked with him. So right. they sent him to him really and truly just for him to have a listen mm -hmm. and say, do you think we're doing the right thing with the kid? And uh, and he said, wow, this is really nice. Yeah. And he just said he's going to give a, um, a verse. And then He seems yeah. like the perfect guy for the record, given that talking it is. the hardest, yeah. the nardest, the baddest. And we're and, from the same place. And so. from the same area as well. It, it really made sense. Of course, man. Of course. Um, now, Afrobeat's really like it's kind of party music, mm -hmm. and dance music. But this one's it's it's more. Would you think it would be right to say it's more hip hop? Influenced? Definitely. I don't feel like it, it has it has the essential for Afrobeat's, but it's more hip hop like the UK music. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that's why it, it works a lot with yeah, everyone else, like people liking it. I got a lot of people that. I don't feel that they listen to Afrobeats and they love the song. Yeah. So it's a good thing. Yeah. I like it, man, as well. And as a DJ, personally, yeah. the tempo of the record Different. is easy to fit into these <laughs> no, other things. No, because what we thought about doing is that the, the time we made the Afrobeats was like, they had, they had one sound. Mm -hmm. And we felt like, let's just take it, change the sound and just be different. Because I feel like as, as an Afrobeat artist, don't just think because I'm an Afrobeat artist, I have to stay in the same sound. You have to just reach out to a lot of people. Yeah. Like what we tend to do is that we try to cater the music to people that don't even listen to Afrobeats. Because if you are African, you're gonna like the music in the first because it's more of your culture. But if you cater to everyone else that isn't around the Afrobeats world, like it helps you. Did you expect the record to really take off on radio like it has? Like when, when you finished recording, if, when if, you wrapped it up. <laughs> if I'm gonna keep it real with you, yeah. Go. We did. Yeah. Like when like when we was recording it, when he was even making the beat. We say, like, I looked at him like, yo, you know this is going to be mad. Mm -hmm. He said, I know. I'm making it be like, Bayer's full of himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's not a bad thing in this industry, though. We just felt like, wow, you know, when we drop this song, it's going to be crazy. He said, yeah. And he's even done better than we thought. Yeah. You know, it's been on the playlist for, like, till now, like, 10 weeks now. And it's never happened. No. Unsigned and so... It's Pops good. in the clubs as well. Yeah. Have you, you must have performed it live quite a yeah, few definitely. times. It's, it's, What's it's the amazing, reaction? Man. It's nice. It's like they, they they get into it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, so you've also got the the EP. My name uh, Mo is my name. Music is my logo. Yeah. So that's the EP that's out there it's right out now. Out right now, you can download that on SoundCloud. Mm. On so that's as a free well. download for that yeah. EP. Yeah, it's good music for the people, man. I definitely mm -hmm. definitely recommend that. Yeah. Um. You spent uh six months recording in New York. Yeah. What did you go out there for? Was it specifically to record? This was before the Afrobeats thing. I, um, I was in New York. I was, first, I was in Atlanta. I was like working with uh, different producers and that. Um, then I went to New York and then to have a meeting with um, two labels, Def Jam mm -hmm. and Shady Records. Okay. And then there was a moment that I felt like I wanted to sign, but it, it didn't feel right to me. I felt like I wanted to do something that represents me. So it was going back, back and forth, back and forth, and I just booked my ticket back to London. So you turned down an offer from yeah. Def Jam and you yeah. turned down an offer from Shady Records. Yeah. Wow. Because I felt like America's big, man. You're going there to compete with so much more that way yeah. better than you. And, and I just felt like I needed to do more groundwork in London than okay. just go... Because I was there for six months. Right. It was but good, you recorded though. out there as well, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I met the likes of um, Boo from Convict, um, Jazzy Faye. Um, who else again? There's a lot more. There's different people I met, you know, and performed at um, Diddy's restaurant. Okay. It was, it was amazing, man. Yeah. It was amazing. So. What did you learn out in America? The thing, the number one thing I learned from them is how to keep your game face on, wherever you are. Regardless what is going on there, you don't know who's there. Just mm -hmm. keep your game face on and be a go-getter. Right. Because they don't, they see every little opportunity as a big thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, they don't see as, uh, uh, that person can buy me a suite. Uh, okay, cool. I'm just gonna let it go. No, they they want to know what you're doing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what can you offer me, and what what can I offer you? Even if they're not doing nothing, they doing make something. themselves look like they're doing something. Yeah. So it's like appearance, how you make yourself look, and just have to be ready anytime. So that's what they do. Most definitely, man. It's a good thing to learn, I guess. Yeah. You're bilingual as well. 
You speak English and Yoruba. 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 Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> Other people say Yoruba. Yoruba. So what is it? Yoruba. Yoruba. So there's two languages. Is there any other languages you speak? No, that's it. Just English the two. Yeah. So obviously Yoruba is the native tongue from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Do you find it easy or how easy is it, I should say, to write songs in two different languages? It's very easy. Very, very easy. I prefer it more if I'm singing Yoruba. Right. Yeah, definitely, because it's like your mother tongue, like your mother language, and so it, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm bringing something different to whoever's listening. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously you have to mix it up with the English and all that. Of course, man, of course. So what's coming next? What's the, obviously we spoke about the secret singles and the <laughs> collaborations that we can't mention, yeah. but what are you working on for the rest of 2014? The rest of 2014, more logo and the team, we just want to keep dominating and a lot of shows and keep expanding the fan base. Yeah. Are you going to be pushing a mixtape or an EP? Are you working towards an album? Um, album, not now. More singles, definitely. Right. Yeah. That's good. More you're singles, one of more the, video. You're one of the few people that actually has said that. No, not an album. No, I don't. Was... I feel like you don't. I don't. I don't think I'm ready for an album yet. I'm not even. I still need to push out at least maybe five more singles or something to mm. keep my fan base more like aware of me than yeah. bring that album because there's no point in bringing that album right now. When you're not really like you're really not known properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Of course, I agree, man. I mean, that's 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 good. That's a good thing to think. It's good advice to other artists, I guess. Yeah. So let's come to this part of the interview, which is called the fun bit. Okay. I'm gonna throw some questions at you. Mm -hmm. You just have to answer them. Cool. Simple as that, right? So are you ready for the fun bit, my logo? <laughs> cool. Are you ready? <laughs> cool. I'm are ready. you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. If you won the lotto, who would be the first person that you told? My mother. Your mum. What's your favourite TV show? Mm. Family Guy. Family Guy, right? Uh, do you stay up late or get up early? Stay up late. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most important thing in life? Hmm. Only one, right? Yeah. Well, Wait, if you've got two, you can tell me two. Prayer. Prayer. Okay. Was there another one? Or just prayer? Fair, fair and good. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. If you could work with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? I got two. All right, two's fine. Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. Chris Brown Michael Jackson. I knew you'd say my, uh, Chris <laughs> Brown. Uh, what's in your fridge? Nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm keeping it real. You should be eating off this tune, man. <laughs> the pre-orders are up. I've heard this has got good sales Aye. figures. The fridge should be full up. Nah, but nah, I'm more. I don't. I don't really eat. I don't know. You don't it's really not, eat. No, nah. <laughs> I'm serious. We well, don't cook. We don't eat. Don't cook. Don't, don't cook. cook. No. We'll take out food, right? Yeah. What is the best thing about where you're from? It keeps you humble. Okay. Would you rather be filthy rich and lonely, or broke but with friends? Would you ever be full for rich and lonely or broken with friends? Huh. <laughs> I would be broken with friends because then we can, there's hope. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Tell me one thing that nobody knows about you. I'm very caring. Very caring? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's not something that the baddest should say though. I know. <laughs> and the last one. Who's the baddest? <laughs> you are, man. Yes, that's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> DJ Double. <laughs> that's it. My logo, thanks for passing yeah, through, thank man. You very Best much, of luck man. with the track. Thank of you very course, much. Of course, the baddest. It's, it's out, out on iTunes. iTunes. Featuring, Featuring gigs. Make sure you get that. Pre order, pre order. Video. Let's chart. Yeah, let's make this chart, yeah. most importantly. Definitely. It's yeah. been a pleasure, man. It's DJ Double. I'm here with my logo. He's the thank baddest out here. Thank you very much.